Hey guys, it's Jonathan Gray here with the Empower Network, and today I want to talk about cat decline because a lot of people really don't understand what that is, and neither did I to begin with, so it's okay. Ignorance is fine as long as you don't want to stay there. So, um, what I used to think and what a lot of people think is that when you declaw a cat, you're just removing the fingernails off of the cat's paws. The truth of the matter is, when you take them in for this procedure, the vet takes a, um, it looks like a guillotine, it's got like a little circle, and there's a blade under it, and it just chops right off. They have similar types of things for nail clippings. But this one is a surgical scalpel. And they go all the way down to here, and they chop off your fingertip. Well, not your fingertip, but the cat's fingertip. They are chopping off the first knuckle or the first phalanx on the cat's foot. Now imagine if someone chopped off your toes, and then you had to walk like that. How painful that would be. This is what we're doing to our cats, people. They're walking on glass all the time, pretty much. Um, you know, and there's, there's a, it's really kind of a barbaric thing, and there's a lot of different options. Um, but, you know, the side effects of declining, you know, there's bone spurs that can happen. Infection, sometimes your vet's not very good and he doesn't get all the claws so it starts to grow back all infected and nasty. And then um, there's behavioral issues that go along with it. A lot of cats don't use the litter box or won't use the litter box. A lot of them bite more. So they get kind of nasty. Why would you want to do that to your cat? Anyways, so uh, just to name a few alternatives, there's, um, there's sticky paws, which is a double-sided tape that you can put on your couches or your tables or whatever they're scratching. And, you know, their paws get all stuck and they freak out and they don't want to do it anymore. Also, there's um, a product called Soft Claws, which is a rubber tip that you glue onto their nails. And I'd probably recommend doing that at a groomer because you'll probably get ripped to pieces. And then there's also um, having a scratching post in your house is vital, 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 vital. And uh, a really good way to teach your cat at a young age that this is what they scratch on. They don't scratch on the other stuff. They scratch on this. And then if you really wanted to go a surgical route, there's a procedure called a tendinectomy where they sever the tendons on each toe between the first and second knuckle so that the nails can't extend. That way they can't scratch things because it's just stuck in their in their toes. Much less painful, much more natural. This is how this is the way they walk normally, and then they just extend their claws when they need them. So uh, also, if you're considering this procedure, and your vet tells you, oh, well, because they can't extend their claws, they can't wear them down, you'll have to clip them more regularly, he's a jackass. Because I've worked with literally hundreds and hundreds of cats, probably over a thousand cats in the time I've worked at Cat Rescue. You have to clip all their nails regularly anyways. It doesn't matter what you have them scratching on. So, if, like I said, if you want to go a surgical route, that's the way to go. Much less painful, much more humane. Don't chop off their fingertips. Thanks for listening. I'm checking out.